Hi, welcome to Sunny's The Car Wash Factory. Today I want to talk to you again about how to save money, um, save water, save electricity, save chemicals, and produce a better, cleaner, drier car. Uh, it all has to do with water, and Sunny's, together with one of our partners um, in the water business, have put together the best system available for new and existing operators. Um, the cost of, of producing water uh, starts with the new construction and starts with your impact fees. Uh, to bring in a water line to the building. A lot of locations that are building big car washes that expect to do some business are looking for a two inch water line. I've seen those prices be as high as $100,000 for that two inch line and then drop dramatically when you go down to an inch and a half can only be cut in half. The newest one that we've heard about quite a bit is the impact fee for the sewer discharge. And that sewer fee can be as high again as $87,000, and that's the one I'm working with a customer today, but it happens to be $87,000 for a, a, a medium, volume full service site. So right away they called and said, how do we control this? Well, the way we do it is by putting together a complete water management system. And that's what we've done here. I'd like to take you through it step by step. The first part is a water repressurization system. We use this to manage the water pressure within the car wash building. If the city believes they're gonna give us 60 PSI when they tap into that eight inch water main or 10 inch water main in the street and they run through the backflow preventer, a lot of times I've seen that we get that 60 PSI with one valve open. When we open all those valves, we drop sometimes below 20, 25. So we're not asking for more water, we're just asking for what they will tell us they'll give us and we're gonna manage that within our own facility. So we'll put a repressurization system in that'll be driven by a variable frequency drive that'll just manage that water pressure. It'll always maintain, if the water's 60 PSI, it does nothing, it won't even run. If it drops below that, as we start opening valves to call for water, or it's a Saturday and everybody on the street's busy, it'll just bring that pressure up and maintain that 60 PSI and that right flow rate within our tunnel walls. The next piece we're gonna use is a, is a water treatment system for the hardness and to condition the water before we put it into our RO system. Two types available, one is a saltless system, that's new, state of the art, it's real nice because it requires no backwashing, no brine. Um, if we have some other water issues, we can still use a regular salt-based water, so water softener. And we would do that and treat the water going into our spot-free system. A couple reasons we want to do that. First one is to help maintain the integrity of our membranes, make the water cleaner going in, uh, less total dissolved solids so that the unit can produce um, more quality water from the water we give it. Uh, the second reason is, um, we're only, the second reason we're only doing it to the RO unit is because we're going to take that reject water and we're going to take it down and put it into a separate tank and then repressurize that and, and build our chemistry with it. The water that's coming out of that spot free system after it's been conditioned or softened is the second best water in the building, the spot free being the first best water. We take that water, put it in a storage tank and then with the repressurization pump again, we, may, we power, power up our water manifold for those chemicals and we mix those with this softened filtered water, which gives us a huge savings on our chemistry because it helps to make that chemistry more active, one, because it's already softened. Um, the reason we don't soften all the water in the tunnel, we'll get there in a minute. Rinsing is better without soft water, we'll talk about that. Um, downstream, after we do the, the softening and we do the, um, the spot free, we're taking all that water, it's gonna collect into a series of reclaim tanks. Those tanks are specially designed to filter, slow down, separate water, separate oils, separate the dirt, and, and to get that water to, to slow down and move and store our cleanest water into a separate tank. We've developed a brand new reclaim system, and this one is an incorporation of a couple of the best products um, and best designs that are on the market today. Um, we've had one for a while that's a 25 absolute micron um, filtration system using the stainless steel style filters. Uh, that worked very well. The better quality water is to go through a, uh, a glass type media um, and filter the water um, to even a, a finer micron and take more out of it. We want to eliminate the maintenance and I think we've done that with this system. We've got three tanks that backwash uh, 20 minutes. One tank backwashes uh, every 20 minutes an hour to keep the flow rate going properly. We backwash it with filtered water so it doesn't cost us any more to clean it. The most important thing is, is to have no odor in your car wash and people uh, detect odor as dirty water and, and, and a dirty tunnel or a dirty car. 
Um, our odor control is a patented odor control system that actually works flawlessly and creates a, an odor uh, free environment and a very clean, fresh uh, smelling car wash tunnel. Uh, there's two pumps on board that run all the time, one circulating the uh, odor control water through the system, rinsing down our conveyor, our chain and rollers, and keeping our maintenance down by keeping everything cleaner. The other one is making water pressure. When needed, um, that second pump, the valve will open up and we'll take all that water to it on our busiest days, we'll have full capacity. Um, it's very important how we filter the water. Um, you'll see the tank designs at the show. It, it's real neat and uh, it, it's, it's fairly simple. Um, if you understand water. If you don't, it's a little bit more complex. Uh, we're working with some tank manufacturers to free up the back room, so we've got a couple of tanks designed to go underground for our RO and our reject storage, and uh, that'll work well. For drying the car, the regular city water or harder water works the best, and you've heard that said before, I'm sure, in, in your travels, but uh, that's what helps the water get off the car. One of the things we've seen lately is that the pH water, the pH level of the water coming from the city has uh, increased. Uh, they do this for a couple reasons. They sometimes want to build a little film or a little bit of liner inside the pipes to help protect the pipes of the city. Um, it doesn't help us in the, in, at home or at the car wash because that um, alkalinity helps to, starts to build up around the walls of our pipes and it makes the water uh, harder to work with. So if we have a high alkalinity, we're also working on a project that works very well right now that'll change the pH of that water coming out of our spot-free system and help make the drying better. Um, getting the water beat up is great. Getting the water to break is great. Putting the spot-free water on there does absolutely the opposite of everything we try to achieve where it makes the water lay down and sheet on the vehicle. If the pH is too high, that happens even more and we end up with maybe some small spots, but we actually have a problem moving the water off the car which requires then more horsepower and dryers and, and more blowers and uh, either more touch up at the other end of the car wash. If we can manage that pH level like we've been so successful doing, we can actually get that water to run off the car, requiring less electricity, less horsepower in the dryers and giving us a better finished product. If that sounds like a lot just about car wash uh, water, uh, the neat part about this whole program is the water quality we create through the RO system is very, very high quality water, better than most uh, locations sell filtered water and, and have people bottle it. So we are also offering a water bottling system. So instead of using your water and thinking about it as an expense, we can reduce the consumption of water to wash the car, take that high quality filtered water, put it to a water bottled dispensing machine where people can come in and bring their jugs at your car wash site and fill up a gallon or two gallons. You can sell the water at a great discount highly profitable and if you can generate a thousand dollars of income from your water against your normal two thousand dollar water bill you've again cut your water bill in half so the water system can cut it in half then the sell and bottle water at your site can cut the water bill in half again create loyalty and, and more frequent visits from your customers to your sites and create a, a much more um, valuable proposition on your property I hope this really explains water. I hope you come to the show and look at it on the show floor. We'll have all the pieces there and all the experts there to help explain it to you. Uh, again, good luck and good washing.